Hello, my name is Anurag. I'm from Assam. I've been having trouble with my voice uh, since three years. To sleep at night because I couldn't breathe properly. Uh, there was always a strider when I breathe, when I talk. I was always aware uh, and conscious, self-conscious that people will hear this breathing noise when I'm speaking. So I couldn't even speak to people properly. Um, lately, I went to Guwahati and there I got diagnosed with a tracheal web and got referred to uh, this hospital. And after the surgery here, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I can sleep without any noise. Uh, I'm not feeling breathless. And it just feels good to breathe. Like I can breathe in properly. And it just feels good. Um, the doctor is uh, very friendly, very professional, and very helpful. The hotel management is also great. After getting shifted to the ICU, I lost my shoes. Hospital management did a great job at finding my shoes. So I'm very grateful for that. Dr. Vishweshwaran, sir, is very professional, very helpful, and very kind. And he has helped me a lot, and I'm very grateful for that. The nurses are very polite and caring. And that is something I really appreciate. Hello friends, I'm Dr. Vishweshwaran. I'm currently working as a consultant, interventional pulmonologist at Eshwada Hospital, Somajiguda. So we had this patient who had come all the way from uh, Assam and the patient was having a prior history of uh, tuberculosis. And uh, it is a very rare presentation of tuberculosis where the main windpipe got almost 90% obstructed and the patient was, even though he was just almost around 20 to 25 years of age, he was limited by difficulty in breathing and he was not even able to do his day-to-day -day routine activities. So, uh, one of our colleagues has evaluated this patient in Assam and then referred this patient. When the patient came here, we did a bronchoscopy and in the bronchoscopy, we were able to see that the old TB has caused almost 90% of the obstruction and the patient was barely able to breathe. So, that is when we took this patient for a procedure which we refer to as a rigid bronchoscopy along with that uh, uh, tracheal stenosis dilation and cryotherapy. So in this process what we did was we put a metal tube inside the patient's airway and then we opened up the uh, narrowed portion and after the procedure we were able to achieve almost 100% of the uh, opening of the windpipe. So once it was achieved immediately the patient was then removed from the ventilator on table and the very next day the patient was able to breathe, he was able to speak very well and he was able to even run. So this is one rare case of a tuberculosis which has caused almost a complete obstruction of the windpipe which was successfully managed with a minimally invasive procedure like a rigid bronchoscopy and uh, tracheal stenosis dilation. Thank you.